we have a new winner for the Daisy 880 for pellets. On this side, my little glycerin soap pieces, I shot the pile driver. And on this side, I shot the um, Barracuda, which is 10.65 grains. So what I want to do is I want to show you the results of what happened here. So we'll start with this one here. This is a pile driver. So we got one, two, three, and four blocks. And it went all the way. And I can see almost the head of it sticking out right about in this area. So almost uh, four blocks. And then the Barracuda. 10.65 grain. And there it is sticking out at the third. So you can see that the pile driver, which is 21 grains, right here on the left, had 25% more penetration than on the right, the Barracuda, which is 10.65 grains. What this means is that the pile driver is not too heavy for the Daisy 880. If it was too heavy, you would see a performance loss in different areas like penetration and, and on wood and stuff like that. But even though it's going 453 feet per second, it's producing 9.53 foot pounds of energy which is the most energy that you're probably going to get out of the Daisy 880 with this pellet. So this pellet actually boosts the power of the Daisy 880. The only drawback is the price and uh, the yardage. Depending on what kind of scope you have, this is probably going to be good for maybe a maximum of uh, 25 yards before you'll notice a drop, uh, a massive drop after that, because of the simple fact it's it's going... 453 feet per second. So if you have a good scope with mill dots, you could probably get away with, you know, further distances. But I would say, you know, up to 25 yards, this pellet here is really, really the best choice for your Daisy 880. So anyway, I thought you'd, I thought I'd show that to you. Uh, the reason I use glycerin soap is because of the fact that it's equal density on both sides here. So you got equal density and it's equal as far as um, when you're shooting, it doesn't run into anything. Whereas wood, sometimes you get false readings because when you shoot wood, there might be knots in the wood and different things like that. Like glycerin soap's nice because it catches the pellet, you know, in a short distance, but it also shows you where the pellet's at. Now this stuff is kind of blurry. Uh, it used to be clear, but until I started doing experiments, but now it's cloudy. But uh, I figured with this experiment, I just use the cloudy blocks here. Just because of the simple fact, I'm just seeing what the penetration is rather than looking at it. <clears throat> You'll see some videos where I have glycerin soap where you can see all the way through. That's uh, the new batches that I get. And then uh, what I do is I take the lead out and then I melt them back down in the microwave. And then cast them into uh, silicone molds and uh, come up with this little block here and they're all exactly the same size and they work good for little experiments now if i put this back in the microwave for two minutes i can let it sit for probably 10 or 15 minutes and these will be ready again yet for another experiment so that's the good thing about these glycerin soaps is they're really easy to get ready if you want to do experiments and testing so anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. So it looks like, uh, yeah, if you can handle the price on these things, I think, uh, can't remember what the price is, but uh, they're definitely, definitely more expensive than, say, your medium weight pellets. So they're probably double the price. But, uh, but anyway, if you're just using them for limited purposes, like hunting or something like that, I think it's worth the price because uh, they're so heavy. And they give you the energy you need for your rifle. 
So uh, there's a new king for the DZ880, and that's the H&N pile driver, 21 grain. So you guys are looking to boost your power in your $40 pump-up rifles. I would definitely give these a chance here. So these will really give you more power. Like I was saying before, it's 9.53 foot-pounds of power, whereas medium pellets and lighter ones, sometimes them were only like seven. So right off the bat, you're starting with the higher energy and the ballistic coefficient because of the boat tail on this. It has less drag, so that means that at longer ranges, say like 25 yards, um, it's going to retain a lot of its energy and a lot of its velocity. So it's going to really have some uh, power down at them ranges and even further if you can get it to go further. Anyway, thanks for watching.